Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement having a lot of people communicate that they have inklings or ideas about something. They often think that there's something that's going to happen and they feel a sense of that. In my life I've only had a real sense of things after I met someone. I do get inklings about people and impressions in my mind and visual ideas and I've done that for the longest time. But only after I submitted my entire self to the Lord's house that I get a lot more. I am told by many people that I have a lot of gifts. A lot of gifts can be professional gifts and skill sets and talents, but gifts can also be gifts from the Lord, and gifts from the Lord's house are sort of like that. You see, prophetic gifts are something that only God can give. No satanic force or ugly deity can do that. Only Jesus and his house of God can do that. We know that from the Bible of old. If you're trying to figure out about the Bible, we know that there are roughly 31,124 Bible verses and that 800 352 Bible verses contain prophecy, which technically means, and even though I'm mathematically challenged, that the Bible consists of about 26.8% of prophecy. Now, we could break it down into how many prophecies are in the Old Testament, versus which is 1,239 allegedly, and 578 in the New Testament. But what does that say to us about today? The Bible is supposed to be a microcosm, microcosm of what was going on at that time in history, anthropologically, and in society of that time period. We have a lot that we can learn from the stories of old for sure. They're great gifts to give to children in the Bible verses and in terms of uplifting ideas to help us pursue life and liberty and whatnot. But there are other works of old that are very interesting to me. And as a mystic and as a psychic and as a shaman, I often read a lot of things that help me understand the God's house a little bit better. You see, all religions have their own sets of publications. And what is interesting in Catholic world may not be the same in a Methodist world. And what is interesting to a Wiccan may not be the same to a pagan. But the truth is, all the content of all the ages and sages of old really help us today. But what is most important is to be a bard today. A bard is sort of a musician. A bard is sort of a Wiccan. And a bard is someone who really knows people today. Not exactly a matchmaker, but a person who can really see people and really discern and ascertain people. It's not judgment, it's discernment, and that's a gift from the Lord. There are many people that are indiscriminate. It means they feel that there's no right or wrong in the world. But what we know from all the works of old and all the publications on the best and the worst of society, from the oldest of ages to the newest of days, is that there are certain principles that hold true. That when I take care of me, I'm not taking care of you. But when I serve you, I'm taking care of me, 